Hey everyone, it's O Street Mini Golf. It's Aaron and Rudy, and we are here at Sand Trap Mini Golf in LBI Beach Haven. It's close to the bridge. Um, we never make it up this far north. We pretty much stay in our area or go down south, and we've kind of inched our way up because uh, we we've, we've exploited all the miniature golf courses down in our area, and it's a, new, a place we haven't played before. That's such a, a aggressive word. I feel like we we teamed up and helped. All I picture is like fracking. Like yeah. We, like we were they destroyed the land. Yeah. There's there's no more mini golf down where we are. No more. No, no more. At least not none none for us. No. No. So uh, it's a very challenging 18 hole course here. Uh, it's been around since 1975 and it's in pretty good condition. We just found out actually they're redoing the carpets uh, this, this summer. Week. This week, so by the time you watch it, it'll be in two years. They might do, do the repurposing again. We're gonna have another video coming up after that of us playing the new courses. Who do you think's gonna win, El Presidente or our hero? We're here at the Sand Trap Mini Golf Course in LBI. We're getting ready to try this out. We've never been here before, so I'm curious to see how Aaron and I play. Conditions are a little wet from rain last night, um, so I don't know if that's really going to affect us because we've never played this course, so here we go. Hole two, we got a classic windmill hole, just a straight shot. Maybe I'll get a one. I think Aaron opened up the door here for me. I'm gonna go through that building. I like that spot better than where his was. Not hard enough. Three. All right, run hole three. I'm gonna try to bank it back. Maybe give myself a decent tip. Oh God, it's slow. I don't know if this was the right way to go, but. But I don't love my shot. It's ironic that the water hazard on this hole is actually the hole and not the blue patch at the end. All right, so, so this hole seems a little deceiving. Uh, you don't know where the ball's going, but honestly, if you just hit it straight, it might go in. This one kind of stresses me out a bit. There's a spot that you have to get it to to avoid going left or right, but it's not a gimme hole in one, there's no guarantee where it's gonna end up. And you gotta go up the ramp. I can't be upset with this stuff. All right, I feel like you have two options to play this. You could just run the rail 
all the way around, and maybe the ball will kick out, or do a ricochet and cross over. I'm gonna do the crossover. All right, so even though we are here early in the morning, that sun is right here. Not a good place to be wearing a black hat, a dress shirt, nice pants. I'm fighting a, a little bit more than just pressure, I'm fighting fatigue. I feel like any way you try to go up there is going to get you in about the same spot. Two. All right, you got another classic loophole. See what happens. Two. All right, so they got some signs to try to help you out over here, and these make no sense whatsoever. It's a par three, but if you hit it gently, you'll get a hole in one. One of these things is lying. Hole seven's all downhill. You wanna lightly tap the ball, get it over this first hump, and get it in between the grooves, because if not, the ball's gonna be on either side of a very decently sized mountain or hill. So Aaron had an idea of avoiding the hill to try to go around it. I think going over the hill might be the, the way to go. Sorry, I'm deep in concentration here. One, 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 one. So there's some crazy hills that are very deceptive. You think you might want to try to ride them, and we've never played this course before. I don't know how, how it's gonna go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my God. Well, I learned a lesson on this. Well, I learned a lesson on this one. Don't do what Rudy did. Two and I'm up. Two. All right, we're on hole nine right now. There's two little hills, kind of angles to the right. Maybe you get a bank off the wall, give yourself an easy two. Two. I was so happy that I got that ace because it evened us up. And then I get a four and let Aaron pull ahead by two. The back nine of this, I have faith I can I can do what should be done. Two. All right, hole 10 is a straight shot, but there's not a lot of room to keep it up because it falls down to the left and to the right and to the back. So, God help us all.
got her limits 10 right now. the door for Rudy. I'm opening them wide open. Wide open. Here you go, Rudy. It's all for you, Rudy. Where's your god now, Aaron? The Reverend Rudy Real. Up at bat. Blue. <laughs> He's oozing blue. I am not of your race. Seven? My God, better than your God. My God, better than your God. My God, better than your God. Man, it's hot in here. I have pulled ahead with my seven. It's a game changer. It's anybody's game. Two! Now I understand why they call hole 10, hole 10, because most likely you're gonna get a 10. Rudy's up one, I gotta close the gap now. Oh, are you kidding me? Should have been a one. Should have been a one. So there are three possible holes to get it in on this platform before it brings you down to the second platform. Being that we've never played this before, I have to assume it's the middle one, but it could be any one. Looking down doesn't help me at all. Neither does that. Three. All right, so after watching Rudy's shot, I feel like the ball went a little to the left. I'm gonna aim to the right. Maybe it'll go in a hole. So number 13 is a pirate hook. Being the O Street Pirate, I should get this on principle alone. Man, this looks fun. The green is going so slow though, I don't know if this is gonna work quite the way I want it to. It 
I don't know what happened. Four. I'm gonna try to hit it even softer. I thought Rudy's shot was great. It just it went over that hill. Hole 15 is a straightaway with a little hill in the beginning on the left hand side. Then we get a bank and come back. Three. Trying to straight away with getting the ball in the hole in one shot. And by straightaway, I mean I'm gonna have a bank and curve and turn as much as possible. Two, and I pick up another stroke on Aaron. So there are holes like this where you just gotta hit it and get around. There's, there's no carpet on that side. You can't really aim the banks. It's fun because it makes it a level playing field for everybody because it's so random. Being that skill is not really involved, Aaron will probably win this hole. If you press on the green, you can see the water coming up. Melting, melting. Two. All right. So I really like this because there's a little divot in the middle that makes it look like if you can get it in there, it's going to be a gimme but it's not easy to get it into that groove. I'm pretty sure after this hole, you can call me Stella. Two. Rudy's not giving me any room to make up the two-stroke lead that he has on me. Just gonna pray. So the 18th hole has two different spots you can pick from. One that's near, near, and one that's far. If anybody grew up watching Sesame Street, like me below. That sounds a little dirty. Just like me in general. I don't know why anybody would go for the far one. I think if Aaron aces this, we will tie. So what I'm trying to say is I just won. Alrighty, so like, like Rudy mentioned on hole 18, there's two holes, there's near, far, wherever. Uh, Three and Rudy beat me by two. All right, we just got done playing our 18 holes here at Sand Trap in LBI, and uh, guess who won? Our hero. That's right, another one in the books. 
I won. Buy enough. 51. Now, granted, buy enough. We play with the 10 stroke limit. We played with the rules here. The horrible 10 I got really would have been a five. Your and seven the bad would have seven been a five. Would have been a five. And I would have beat you by two, but. They're not the rules that we play by. Yeah, we count all of the strokes because that's what matters. Well, and the one thing actually, the sand trap on hole one actually counts as a stroke penalty uh, here as well. So it depends on what rules you want to play by. And as everybody that knows Aaron knows, he makes up the rules as he goes along. Of course. So um, how did that work out for me? Uh, oh, wait, I win. We just lost Evan as a subscriber. Exactly. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun jazz. We're a stream mini golf. Bye. Later days. <laughs>